Hey, is Pepper find him behind the barn just working up an awful storm as he cries? I am Professor Van der Velde of the North Archway Zoological and Taxidermy Society. This, again, might look to you as a fairly normal Canadian beaver, but this beaver, there's no two ways about it, he was a monster. Madame Tussauds uh, has its Chamber of Horrors, and we here at the Northern Archway Zoological and Taxidermy Museum have likewise, because this beaver is the beaver that the sexual euphemism beaver was coined for. This animal, I think we can all agree, is it is good that it is dead, it's good that it was stuffed, because it was a peeping Tom in the beaver community, and when he broke loose from a Canadian zoo, he was found on the Vancouver underground taking upskirt photographs. And this was in the 1970s with a Polaroid camera. He wasn't subtle. And you can see here what at first may seem to be a rather goofy visage is one of a revolting predatory creature. He built a, um, a dam, as beavers will do, and would often lay prone, pretending to be injured, waiting for naive environmentalists to come along and assist him, uh, at which point the teeth would sink in. He'd drag them back to uh, the dam and take some deeply inappropriate photographs. So it was only um, after one member of Peter was lured into his lair but was able to escape and raise the alarm that this monster was brought to justice and he was the last um, wild mammal to sit in the Canadian electric chair and um, you can see little bits of his his fear is still singed from it so we, we, we're both honoured and a little bit ashamed to have him which is why we're delighted to uh, put him up for auction this evening listen to his mom and she told him he should go to school